I taught this swing. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I did teach him right handed though. <laughs> <laughs> You see how good a teacher I am? Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> it just shows you what you're working with though, doesn't it? <laughs> right, right, hold on. Let's get the ball further back in your stance. That's it. Now, what I'm always on a bit is, you see, he's for a tall fella. He's, you you know, see six... how short this club is, Pete? Have a look at it. I've always told you. I'm a, are we, he's a bit taller than me, but I wouldn't stand like that, would I? So it's not the club, is it? Right. Okay, start again. So stand tall, use your height. Better, better. Ball back a bit more in your stance. Like I said, use your height. Better. Freddie, it's so much for you because you've got these long levers. If you get in here, you can't use them. You're stuck. So you've got to do it by posture and getting your chin off your chest and getting the ball back in your stance because so you can get, reach the bottom of your arc. So stand tall. That's it. Use your arms. Okay. I know it wasn't good, but I know, I know him well enough to take the mickey. But yeah. um, when you do get into here, as you, as you can see, you know he's got no room. One more. So stand as tall as you can. Be as proud with your chin up. Ball back. And let your arms swing. Use those arms because they're a big advantage for you. Okay. But what I would say to that, your swing should be as wide as anybody's. And it isn't. So yours, yours is for a quite narrow which you will hit, you hit the ball a long way anyway, but you'd hit the ball miles if you get those wider. 